Hello everyone, it's Lego Girl, and today we'll be doing, I believe, our first true unboxing, where you don't get to see it until I open it. I have not opened it, I ripped off the top label and ripped off the tape, I have not actually opened it, so this is a live reaction to what I got. I don't even remember, I know it's mostly helmets, but I don't know what else. Oh, I see helmets. Oh, wow, okay. So we have different clone helmets, I will be opening that. I bought a lot of helmets. Got a trooper. That's gonna see it up with that in the drawer. Uh, got some minifigure that, minifigure that, minifigure that, minifigure that. <laughs> I bought a lot of these. Minifigure that. Grab bag. Okay, grab. So there's. Okay, so we have three grab bags. I just bought this a few days ago, but my brain is so fried on stupidity that I don't even remember what the hell I bought. So I got three weapon grab bags, five random, five random uh, minifigure roulettes, one trooper that you can see right here that I'll show at first, and the helmets, and that's it. So we'll start with the helmets, then I'll move on to the trooper, and then we'll move on to the weapons, and then we'll move on to the random minifigs. So I just picked out some random helmets for collection usage and maybe some other usages as well. Give me a second. Okay, that goes in here. Uh, so we have, first off, we have Bakara as a as the Burning Legion is what it's called with the fire on the helmet. I actually already have a Burning Legion helmet, but this, oh, my fingers are so dirty. I'm so sorry you had to see that. I will use my new pointer that I found in the attic. Yes, it's a prop that I had on Halloween. Don't question it. It's a skeleton finger, but... You can see there, it's a Burning Legion style of Bakara helmet in green, which looks really cool. We have a... I think this is a Clone Wars helmet. I really like this. It's also 3D, so you have like the panels on the sides popping out and whatever. There's the back. Beautiful. It's Clone Wars too, so it makes it way cooler, in my personal opinion. We have a Kamino security helmet. Putting those down there so you guys can see them. A, oop, an airborne trooper helmet. Just plain, nothing too special. Okay, putting them on this is a pain in the ass, so I'm going to do this the easier way. And actually go with the Lego model of using a flat piece like this. Yeah, this is that cheap old brown style before they updated it. Another phase one clone trooper helmet. Same as X style. Nothing new. A... Burning Legion blue flamed uh, ATRT driver helmet, which I actually really love. I'm planning on making an entire Burning Legion as well, different colors. And of course, I had to get the Snow Trooper helmet. This is an Imperial Storm Trooper he Snow Trooper helmet, but I'm going to use it as a clone one because he does use them as clone ones as well. On to the minifig, the one that I have. This is a Burning Legion um, Bark Trooper with two pistols. Are they Fordo? Oh, they're Fordo pistols. Okay. I, like I said, I don't remember. He does not have a face either. It's just a standard issue black head. But I do not remember exactly what I bought because I did buy this a few days ago, but my brain has been pretty much dealing with brain rot. So I haven't really been focusing on what I've got. So I kind of... And also the thing glitched out, so I said I had nothing, so I don't know why that happened, but I do have stuff. There's the Flame Legion. He has flame pictures all around him except on his back legs. Even on the inside of the leg has flame pictures. It's just, it's so cool. Underarms have them. You can see them on the bottom there and the back. Shoulder pads. This looks, I love this. And the best part is if you don't want to use it as like a Flame Legion, you can just have it be like a flame trooper. Like he was lit on fire by like a B1 or something. Uh, we have... Okay, so now we're going on, moving on to the grab bags. I'm already opening bag number one. There's three bags. So these are all bag number four. They're not numbered any different. They're all bag number fours because I remember from what I remember, they are mostly have clone weapons in them, which is the one I'm collecting. We have a dirty chrome dark, uh, death trooper blaster. A dirty clone. A uh, dirty chrome. Dirty dir uh, English. Dirty chrome. Um, flame tr uh, flamethrower. A dirty chrome droid blaster. A default heavy repeating rifle. I think that's what that's called. 
a nice golden chromed uh, Han Solo's blaster. We have a default rocket launcher, the thick boy one is what I like to call it. Uh, we have a default Mando's disintegrator sniper. And we have a default arc weapon from the Clone Wars. On to bag number two. And I do plan on getting, at some point next time I order from him, I do plan on getting uh, backpacks as well. Uh, another default arc blaster. A dirty chrome variant of the rocket launcher. I have so many of these fucking rocket launchers. Another rocket launcher, speak of the devil. A heavy... I think this is a heavy... This is a sand trooper blaster, or sand trooper rifle is what I'm going to call it. A scout trooper, default scout trooper blaster. A nice chrome gold... Uh, this weapon. I don't know what this is actually called, technically. But this weapon, this is another Star Wars weapon. Uh, a dirty chrome droid blaster. And on this last bag, we have a bounty hunter sniper in default. The one thing I will say about Clone Customs is he got some really good shit. Though the one gripe I will have and continue to have is that he does not he does not have many great colors in the weaponry, which is kind of one thing I wish he would update, is he would update some of the colors. Because, yeah, you got the cool, you know, dirty chrome and the golds and stuff. But you, I, I've only got a handful of pinks and reds. And I really would love to see more of those brought out. Um, we got a default mortar. Dirty chrome droid blaster. Dirty chrome uh, bowcaster. Another default arc blaster. Ooh, this is one I haven't seen in a good long while. This is a default... Um, Jango Fett's uh, West Star 34s, or West Star, West Star 34s? I don't know, they're, they're the West Star gun, I know that. Another Sand Trooper Blaster in default. A nice gold chromed, um, I guess I could call it platinum gold. I don't really know, I'm going to call it gold chromed because it's just easier to remember. Uh, Rex's Pistol or D, uh, DC-17, or yeah, DC-17 I think is what they're called. And we have a default Boba's Blaster. On to the minifig roulettes, and I'm going to actually bring my camera back and leave, lift it up a bit. Alright, I'm going to cut it on screen so you guys can see what I get. Whoops. We have five of these. Whoops, just, he just fell over. Alright, so first one. Ooh. Another wolf pack. Wow, are, are these all just going to be wolf pack? Oh, that's weird. Okay, so we came with a flamethrower, and it's a wolf, dark blue wolf pack trooper. I know it looks light blue or lighter blue on the uh, thing, but this is like a dark, like almost maroon blue kind of. It's not maroon, but it's it's dark blue. It's very dark blue IRL. But yeah, that that's. Oh, these are the ones. Yeah, he does have a face. Okay, forgot the random minifigure let ones are the ones that have the faces. He's not going to stand. Here's another one. I swear to God, if these are all wolf pack troopers, this is going to be madly, maddening annoying. Because it's another wolf pack trooper. Are you fucking... Are they all just going to be wolf packs? Is that all he makes is just wolf pack ones for these? Another wolf pack. This one's in a lighter blue, though. Yeah, another wolf pack. What the fuck? Okay, hold on. I got to... Are these all going to be wolf packs... Oh, this has got a different angrier face. And he comes with a little blaster pistol. Yeah, you can see this. See? Dark blue, light blue. And he has a jetpack. I forgot this to mention. This one has a uh, commando backpack, is like what I like to call it. And this guy's got a jetpack. That looks cool. I like that. Um, on to number three of the minifig... Uh, yep, number three of the minifig roulettes. I really, really hope these are not all wolf packs. Because I think last time we got a... The only one that wasn't a wolf pack one was... Uh, wolf himself. Oh, okay, no. This is not a wolf pack trooper. Thank God. Okay. So we have a uh, uh, scuba blaster or an aqua blaster. And this is actually a default gray Camino trooper. This is the first different one that's not a wolf pack. Oh, um... And he's got a jetpack. Oh, that is amazing. I love that. Um, 
I will say this, on to bag number four, um, I will say this, in the last video I did for these, I said that that wolf pack trooper, or that wolf pack wolf that was in that maroon red actually was a, uh, I think it was, I said it was a like CG style, it's not. I just remembered before, in the Clone Wars you see it too in the first episodes when you get to meet the wolf pack, I forgot to mention that um, in the actual show, the wolf pack normally was red, like a maroon red. But then when they lost 99% of their members, they changed it to gray. So I forgot. So that actually is wolf. So I got a wolf. And I actually put the right head on him the last time. We got a... This is supposed to be, I think, 212th. But the on camera, it looks a lot more brighter because my camera color corrects. But IRL, this is like a Geonosian, bra uh, Geonosian orange or Geonosian brown. This is not orange. This is like a rusty orange. Actually, it's a rust orange is actually exactly what the color color, the color looks like. I just had a stroke a second. Oh, he's got Jesse's face. He's got a tattoo and everything. Camera focus. There you go. That's interesting. Uh, and he came with a Z6. I love getting the Z6s even though I have a lot of them. Oh, and he came with a, uh, I don't know what the, I think it's a heavy backpack. On to our last and final product from Clannery Customs, the last minifig roulette. Let's see what I get. And that's also not a wolf pack, I just noticed the rusty, rusty boy. And it is another wolf pack. Yep, it's a wolf pack in green. And he did not come with a, oh no, he did. It came with Leia's gun. Leia's blaster pistol. Interesting. Yeah, another wolf pack boy. He has a default face, nothing new, with a green jet pack. I'm probably going to end up throwing him with uh, the wolf. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, <laughs> I had a little bit of too much soda. Um, I think I'm going to throw him with the 41st group, because I have a bunch of different groups in the other room for troopers. But let me get an actual... Here we go. I got a standing platform for you. Let me put all the troopers together on a little platform. And you... Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I, I've noticed something with him and how he does troopers. For some reason, as you can see, there's all the troopers we got. We got two blue boys, one green boy, one gray boy, one rust boy, and one flame boy. I will say this, um, there is a slight issue that I've noticed with his random minifigs, uh, the, uh, the minifig roulette ones that are 20 bucks. If you're looking to collect wolf pack very quickly, definitely go for that option because you're heavily likely to get wolf pack because I think throughout all the times I've done the random ones, I've only gotten these two, uh, around seven, not seven, around four or five regular troopers. And all the rest of them have either been Wolf Pack Troopers or Wolf himself. So just a heads up, if you're trying to get uh, Wolf Pack Troopers, your best bet is, at least in my experience, is literally going for one of these. But yeah, that's our entire collection here. We have these beautiful weaponry, the beautiful helmets, and this nice little group of clones. If you like this video and you want to see more, um, I will be trying to do more every now and again. But hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, to get, and hit that notification bell to get notified on an upload. Um, I will say this, that I have worked, I, not worked, but I have edited my times when I post videos on my other, um, other channel, which is my gaming channel. So hopefully videos on this channel starting uh, next week will be coming out on Wednesdays, and possibly Saturdays as well. I haven't really decided on Saturdays, but 100% on Wednesdays. So, if you're wanting to see more, I will be trying to punch, not punch, I will be trying to dish out more content on Wednesdays especially. Probably not any other day but Wednesday. I think I'm just going to do it a one week, a one video a week. Um, and since I technically am already way past Wednesday, I'm going to post one, I'm going to post this today. Like, right after this video is done. And then, you know, it'll start next week. So next week, expect a video hopefully by Wednesday if I remember to do it. I've set an alarm on my phone so my brain can actually process, like, <gasps> video, make it now. 
Um, I do have some Brick Tactical stuff coming at, uh, coming soon. And I do have a new set that I will be reviewing very, very soon. Probably next week will be the new set. And then the week after will probably be uh, the new... Or the uh, Brick Tactical stuff. So, hold on until then. If, um, and I will see you in the next one.